Again, welcome everyone. Uh, my name is Chief Dave Parkins. I'm the Chief of Police here at Gloucester Township Police Department, and we're here to honor uh, Detective Sergeant Mario Stracolini uh, upon his retirement. And uh, I just want to say first, on behalf of our mayor, David Mayer, who is, he's actually away. He normally doesn't miss these things. I know you spoke to him, right? He called, yes. Mary, called Mario to let him know, and he, he sends his regrets for not being here. Um, and, uh, but on behalf of the entire Gloucester Township Police Department family, we want to welcome you. Uh, I'll start off, I think it's the, the best way to start off, I'll ask our police chaplain, Monsignor Mike Mannion, to come up, start us off in a prayer, and I'll do the introductions then. Father Mike? Stories you want to tell me before I start? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, give it. This will be short because he's catching a cruise right after we finish. <laughs> uh, I did some research on this. Not that I'm an official detective, but um, uh, I found out that earlier in the game, you know, he likes to hunt and fish. The flounder feels safe when he fishes because he doesn't catch any. Uh, treadmill, plant. Fitness, and then uh, he was very um, free and easy to talk to people as a young officer about his job, and that's how he got suspended in the first. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I couldn't have been I there. Tell for many. You. <laughs> I'm sorry I couldn't have been there for you, but I'm here now, <laughs> and I want to borrow your shirt after the ceremony. <laughs> Um, I think he should be the uh, cruise director of the love boat. <laughs> Let us pray. Mario, we pray that you always have eyes that see the best in people, a heart that forgives the worst, and a mind that forgets the bad, and a soul that never, never loses faith in God. For we do believe you have that gift. Remember the two most important days in your life, Mario, the day you were born, the day you found out why. And the first row here is an answer in flesh and blood to that why. No one we believe is more cherished in the world than someone who lightens the burdens of others. Your smile, your attitude, your spirit, has lightened the burdens of many, perhaps more than you know. So it's not just in law enforcement, the lessons we learn by heart to do what we're supposed to do, SOPs, etc., but the lessons the heart will learn about the people we serve. Their joy, their sorrows, their wounds, their structure of life, everything about them that we know that we can use not to hurt them, but to heal them. And you have that gift. And so praying that you see the best, that you forget the bad, we pray that you cherish the days ahead of you and see that so much of what you learned in the past will be a gift to carry forward into the future in positive, loving ways. For you're obviously a person who when he changes jobs, does not change relationships and people he cherishes. That you'll take them with you in so many ways. And so, as we celebrate this special day, looking forward, but cherishing the past as well, may you always act justly, love tenderly, walk humbly with your God. Amen. Amen. And I didn't use all the, all the other stuff I was thinking of. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Father Mike. A couple recognitions. I want to recognize a few that are here. Uh, retired Chief Ed Smith. Uh, where'd he go? I'm not sure where he went, but he's here course. in the back. Yeah, golf course. The judge, the judge said that. Chief. <laughs> but I also want to recognize a few other people. I would recognize our judge, uh, Nick Trebosh. Uh, Mario's mother, who is his father-in-law. His mother-in-law, Carol, is here. Uh, Trebosh, his nephew, Brian Andrus. And I'm finishing with the most important family members to Mario, uh, Marissa, Ava, 
and Marco. Okay, and that's why you guys are up front. And I don't put that lightly, and I'll come back to that in a few minutes. Um, you, um, not by choice, became members of the Gloucester Township Police family, um, but through marriage. And uh, we want to recognize you guys as much as anything for today. You're going to hear about how proud we are of Mario, um, but we don't um, underestimate any of you sitting here the impact that you've had on his career as a police officer, but especially as a good man, good husband, good father. So I'll tell you a little bit about Mario. Uh, and I laugh because I've known Mario a long time, even though uh, he was hired here, he was a special officer here. Upon graduating from Highland High School in 1996, he was the captain uh, of both the soccer team and the ice hockey team. He received an associate degree in criminal justice from Camden County College. He was hired here at the Gloucester Township Police Department as a Class One Special Law Enforcement Officer on November 3rd, 1997. Detective Sergeant Strackley attended the Gloucester County Police Academy Basic Class Number 15, and I recall he was an alternate route, and he had made the arrangement paid his own way to go through the police academy, yet was sponsored here by the Gloucester Township Police Department. Chief Stolsteimer at the time had done that. We were allowed to do that at the time. And he was hired here as a full-time Gloucester Township Police Officer on January 25th, 1999. He's also served as a patrol officer, a field training officer, and was assigned uh, at one of his many stints as a temporary investigator in the narcotics unit from October 23rd, 2003 to April 15th, 2004. He was again assigned on June 7th, 2005 as an investigator in the Special Investigations Unit, and he was appointed a, as a detective on January 1st, 2008. On April 30th, 2012, he began a six and a half year assignment as a task force officer for the United States Drug Enforcement Administration while continuing to serve in our Special Investigations Unit. On September 10th, 2018, he was then assigned back here to the Investigations Bureau as a detective in our Criminal Investigations Unit. He was promoted to Sergeant on January 14th, 2019, where he served as a Patrol Deputy Platoon Commander. On November 4th, 2019, he was then assigned as a Detective Sergeant, was assigned as the commander of the Professional Standards Unit, which is our Internal Affairs Unit. Over the course of his career, he's received numerous awards and commendations and citations, which include 10 Distinguished Unit Citations, five Merit Awards, six Police Service Citations, and 10 Outstanding Police Work Letters. In addition, he's received five Certificate of Appreciation Awards from the U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration, and five awards from the New Jersey Fraternal Order of Police State Lodge. Detective Strackling was also named as the Gloucester Township Police Officer of the Year in 2005, and he was again nominated for this in both 2017 and 2018. Mary was on the Labor Negotiation Committee for the Fraternal Order of Police and the Superior Officers Negotiations Committee as he negotiated most of the labor contracts that we have experienced over the last 20 years. During his time in the Special Investigations Unit in the DA, uh, Mario was involved in many large-scale, regional, and even international organized narcotics investigations. His efforts over the years have led to arrests of many true drug traffickers, large-scale seizures of narcotics, and uh, literally hundreds of thousands of dollars in forfeited assets that were directly related to Mario's efforts. One thing I can also say um, with great confidence, and uh, I forgot to acknowledge uh, retired assistant special agent in charge Mike Messenger, who's here. I know he's a personal friend of the Stracolinis. Uh, Mike's a friend of mine. We were, we, Mike has been a partner for many years and I think he can attribute um, from the FBI and the task force side of things even though Mario was DEA and they sometimes bump, but uh, it was the type of person that Mario was that he was probably one of the most respected and trusted law enforcement officers in the South Jersey area. 
Uh, he represented the Gloucester Township Police Department in large investigations. He represented us well. Um, and to his credit, one thing I will always be, uh, I was always impressed with Mario, even though when you get assigned to these other agencies, these task force, it's very easy to just become immersed in the day-to-day -day routine of a federal task force. You're literally going all over the place wherever the job takes you. Uh, but Mario was always back here. He always was spending time here. He was always checking in. He was always connecting to the uh, local, what was going on back here in Gloucester Township. And so no one forgot who he was, what he looked like, anything, the things that can happen naturally with these types of operation and investigation. But to, to Mario's credit, uh, he was always back here, always, if someone needed a hand with an investigation, uh, he was there. He was that extra set of hands, eyes, uh, if somebody needed something checked, he was there. Um, I experienced this trust many, many times with Mario. You know, he was uh, privy to a great deal of uh, very sensitive, the most sensitive information that we, and intelligence that we get, and he's always uh, was proven trustworthy. And it was because of his work ethic and this trustworthiness that when I became chief of police in 2019, one of my first decisions was to choose Mario to be my commander for the professional standards unit, which is our internal affairs unit. That's a big decision for a chief to make. Chief Smith will tell you that. Any chief or anyone will tell you because um, he becomes a de facto counselor, a, becomes somebody that's privy to the, un, the, uh, the, the, the stuff that's going on, the stuff that we have to make corrections on, and, uh, and also be trustworthy to keep that information close. Uh, in this capacity, Mario was tasked um, not only with this, becoming a new chief, uh, he fell into it at a time when policing was changing and reforming of the internal affairs function uh, needed to take place. It was antiquated, we were behind on investigations, uh, we had to implement new controls that were mandated from the state and systems, and we became a test facility in many of these because of Mario's input. So there's cops throughout the state um, with the use of force uh, modules and early warning systems that are directly a uh, result in the positive from Mario's actions. Um, he cleared that backload of cases. He implemented the new use of force tracking and early warning systems of this department, streamlined them. In addition, he oversaw also all of the hiring the background investigations uh, of all Gloucester Township police officers and employees. He did internal affairs investigations. That's always one of the most difficult tasks that any officer can be asked to do. Um, but Mario did it with honor and he did it with fairness. Again, he was a trusted uh, and a confidant and advisor for me. Um, I, he learned to put up with me, which is not an easy thing to do, and I appreciate uh, him doing that. And I'm proud to have served with him, and I truly am not only going to miss uh, our working relationship, I'm going to work, miss our, our personal relationship talking about uh, family. Family is very important to Mario. Um, family is important to me. Uh, Mario was a great example of what many of these officers, a good family man and a good cop. And that is a, I don't have to tell him what that means. I don't have to tell any of the other officers what that means. He was that good example uh, of what we expect of a family man who also is a good police officer. He balanced his work life and he had long hours. He answered the phone for me every time I had to call him, no matter what time. Uh, and that's what drove him to be a good cop. We know that being a good cop is really tough on the family. We know that. I, you know, I, I know the phone calls he had to take. I know the running out on the weekends because some job was going down and they were on the move and things had to change. I know, you know, the, the impact on holidays and whatnot. So, um, you know, Marissa especially, I, I, I thank you because he couldn't have been that cop um, without your support. And it meant so much to him, um, to the kids, Ava and Marco. Uh, you were his world, talked about you guys, his soccer exploits, everything. Um, everything that he did here, uh, you were that drive. So don't ever forget that. Um, we don't forget that. 
and you'll always be part of this Gloucester Township Police family. Uh, in closing, I just want to say thank you. Thank you to Mario. I don't think I could have got through the first few years um, as a chief so smoothly um, without that trusted uh, confidant. You were keeping me straight, keep me on the uh, straight and narrow when I lost my temper or, uh, you know, or, or saw something in a different light. Um, you were always the advocate for the officers and you were advocate for what was fair, honest, and true. So I appreciate that. So thank you for being a police officer. Thank you for getting into this profession that we all love. We take a beating. We always say we, we don't want our kids to do it and things like that. But we know that without men like you, women like those that serve together here at Gloucester Township Police Department, uh, there's no one to hold the line. And you held the line. And I thank you for that. I thank you for your service to our community. I thank you for your counsel and advice over the years, especially in these last few years that you served on my staff. Thank you for your support and always having my back. And always know that you're part of this Gloucester Township Police family. Take the time. Enjoy this next chapter of your life. You've earned it. Enjoy your time with Marissa and the kids. We know that you will enjoy your, your retirement. We know how much you enjoy life outside of the police department. We envy it. <laughs> and remember that this is what all those sacrifices have been made for. Hold your head up high. You've worked, served proudly. It is a sad day for me. Um, the finality of somebody that I work so closely moving on, but I, it is also a very happy day for me because he made it, he survived, uh, and he's carried on um, such a great career. What I said today doesn't even, it, it doesn't do it any near justice of the career that Mario's had here. And as I know that I had the opportunity to work with one of the best, I'm very happy and I know that the, uh, you deserve this long, this well-deserved long and happy retirement Know that you're a good cop. You know what that means. We know what that means. Congratulations on surviving and having an exemplary career and best wishes on whatever you do in the next chapter of your life. And bring me along on vacation sometime. <laughs> Congratulations. I forgot to recognize Rose Stracolini. I'm sorry that I didn't recognize that in the family, but uh, know that uh, we know where he got his work ethic from from you guys and his dad we remember at Santini's we enjoy know that he's here with us enjoying this as well so congratulations to you as well this time I'll turn it over to Mario did I take your uh... yeah, that's yours without further ado sergeant Strackling. I'm gonna try to read this as fast as possible <laughs> Thank you, Father Mike, Chief Harkins. I really appreciate it uh, for all your kind words. I know the mayor couldn't be here today, but he called me the other day, and I wanted to acknowledge him and thank him for his continued support that he's provided to both myself and the police department. Thank you all for coming to my special day. It's truly humbling to see so many of you here to celebrate my retirement. I'm here to share my gratitude for the time I spent in Gloucester Township as a police officer. I'm incredibly proud of my time here, but I'm excited to see what my future holds. It's been an honor to serve the community that I grew up in and called home for so many years. There are many that I have to thank as I feel that so many have influenced me. I want to start by thanking the non-law enforcement personnel that work in the building. Thank you, Mayor, Council, for all your support throughout my career and always getting us the funding that we need for training to buy equipment and keep the officers safe. Thank you to all the other civilians who work for the township. Everything you do is appreciated. I know that I know you will probably I, I know you probably don't hear this as often as you should but I wanted to take the time to tell you that what you does what you do does not go unnoticed public works court clerk's office records human resources special officers volunteers and dispatchers your hard work makes the officers everyday job a lot easier I want to personally thank Dawn for all the hard work you do in the chief's office you truly keep the office in order I'm gonna miss our stories during the day <laughs> Uh, I want to thank my training officers. First, Joe McCarthy. For those of you who don't know, I was hired at a young age of 20. I wasn't even old enough to buy bullets. Not only did you have to train me to be a police officer, you acted as a father figure for, while I was at work. As police officers, we spend more time together than we do with our actual families. Imagine having to train a 20-year-old kid not only to be a police officer, but to be a man. Words can't express the gratitude and appreciation I have for what he did for me 
Uh, you and Big Mike Trebash took me under your wing at such a young age. Second, I want to thank Anthony Minazzi for training on all the tactics to, tactics to ensure that, he, that I would not get us killed. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me, he had a lot. I even use them to this day, even in my everyday life. These tactics are the reason I was able to go, to home, go home every night. I also want to thank you for keeping the window down on the below freezing temperature nights. Yeah, I'm cold thinking that. about it. Let's see what the office is like. Thank you to, to all the chiefs throughout my career. Chief Stolsteimer for hiring me as a class one uh, special police officer in 1997 and then full time police officer in 1999. Chief Smith, thank you for all your guidance. Thank you for believing me and giving me the opportunity to prove myself in narcotics unit at such a young age and assigning me there full time as an investigator in 2005. Thank you for making me a detective in 2008. I appreciate you more than words can explain. Chief Earl, for those of you who don't know, Chief Earl was my lieutenant when I first started. He was tasked, along with Joe McCarthy, with turning a young, cocky kid into a well-rounded police officer. <laughs> he said that all the time. I can admit it wasn't an easy task, but through a bunch of memos, we were able to get through it. Thank you for taking a chance on me and making me a shift investigator very early in my career and when you were chief for assigning me uh, as a task force officer with the DEA in 2012. I also want to thank you for promoting me to sergeant in 2019. Chief Harkins, thank you for having my back on so many occasions. You know what that means. I really appreciate you for that. Your loyalty and integrity are unmatched. Thank you for being there as my liaison when I was assigned to DEA for six and a half years. You were you were always there when we needed a tactical direction when I was with SIU or DEA and always listened to what our goal was. Thank you for signing me to the Professional Standards Unit in 2019. Based on the hard work from our unit, we were regularly recognized as one of the best in the county. Also, thank you for your leadership and dedication to this police department. To all my brothers and sisters in blue, both past and present, I love the time I spent with you. Aside from my immediate family, I would choose your company ahead of almost any other. I love the fact that you, you've been there and that instinctively you understand. I love the stories you tell. I love the fact that what you do matters. Most of all, I love your endless courage and humanity. You are not perfect, but when you are at your best, you represent the very best that humans can be. This department has produced not only some of the best officers, but great people too. My family and I are thankful for doing your job and ensuring that I got home safe. We are forever grateful for that. I consider some of you not just friends, but family. In fact, we still have sleepovers like we did when we were kids. Well, at least one of you still sleep in my house on a regular basis. <laughs> <laughs> McDonald, Marissa said she made the bed for you, and your spot is reserved for tonight, and he will have breakfast for you in the morning. And we thank you for that. <laughs> All joking aside, McDonald, Trey Bosch, Obermeyer, Farrell, Shriver, Bernie Doc, you guys are like brothers to me. Halfway there. I want to thank Joe Benson for your tireless work in narcotics. You helped train me when I first started on the street and were the one who uh, piqued my interest. You were a brave individual. Not only did you, not only for what you did as a police officer, but you risked the wrath of your wife by almost missing the birth of your son because you committed to being my wedding. <laughs> thank you for the endless stories that will live on forever. I want to thank uh, Scott Obermeyer and Tommy Stolsteimer. I may you rest in peace. Two of the best to ever do it. I was assigned with them for the first when I was in um, narcotics for the first time, or second time, I was chasing the first time. I remember driving around surveillance and Scott always used to say, I have an idea. And whenever he said that, we were in for an adventure. Thank God John Ritchie was in charge because he was always able to put a spin on things that made it seem like whatever we were doing was right. I can't talk about adventure without mentioning Shuby, who was in the unit and signed to the state police. The amount of experience in more ways than just work gained by working with Shuby and the state is priceless. I want to thank all the other uh, narcotics officers I worked with over the years, Bernie Doc, Jackson, Palma, Long, and Shriver. Thank you for always being there when I needed you. You never hesitate to stop what you were doing to assist me with any investigation I was working on. I can't tell you the sacrifices Bernie made to help. One time we had him posing as if he worked for the housing department and had him cleaning out vacant houses in Salem County. It worked. <laughs> Jimmy Shriver, you were my supervisor for a large part of my career. I can't believe you were able to put up with me for all those years. You had my back even when you got yourself in trouble. Slifer always yelled at you for me. Uh, you were one of the best supervisors ever wear a badge, and thank you. Thank you to Joe Sarconi and Ron Middleton, who are two of the hardest workers I've ever been around. You never complained about getting the job done. It was a privilege to be your supervisor. 
I want to thank all the other agencies that I had the privilege to work with throughout my career, whether it was a local town, a county prosecutor's office, New Jersey, New Jersey State Police, or any other federal agency. You all made an impact on my life and career. Thank you to my neighbors, Bill Newman from the State Police and Mike Messenger from the FBI, for always being a point of contact with your agencies. Not too often do you get great friends who are also your neighbors, who not only are cops, but assigned to the same unit as you and their respective agencies. We were able to overcome a lot of bureaucratic nonsense just by being friends. A special thank you to the DEA for taking me in as one of your own. The knowledge, training, experiences you provided is second to none. I have to take, thank two DEA diversion investigators who made it happen, Joe Brown, Joe Fontana. We had so much fun, we never sacrificed a job to do it. The expertise in that agency is superior. You truly are the best of the best. There are too many others to thank individually. Just know that I appreciate all of you. It has been the greatest privilege of my per professional life to count myself amongst you, to count myself a member of this extraordinary family in blue. Whatever the future may bring, I will always be able to say that I was one of you. To my non-law enforcement friends, some of you are here today, just as I trust all my law enforcement friends with getting me home safe, I put that same level of trust in you. You're always there no matter what the situation. I thank you, but my liver does not. <laughs> thank you to my mom and dad for your love and guidance throughout my life. I know you are both so proud of who I've become. I could not have done it without you. My dad would be so proud right now. I wish he could be here, but I know he's watching down on me, smiling from ear to ear. He has been my guardian angel. Thank you to my nephew, Brian, who always there to help no matter what, whenever I call. Thank you to my mother-in-law, Carol, my father-in-law, Nick, for everything that you do for our family. Your generosity and commitment to our family does not go unnoticed and is appreciated. The very last words belong to my family at home, to my beautiful wife, Marissa. Oh, boy. <laughs> Wonderful kids, Ava and Marco. Loving you has been my most important duty and my greatest joy. Ava, your mom and I are incredibly proud of what you've accomplished at such, at such a young age. Whether it's in school, on the soccer or lacrosse fields, you're always at the top. The next four years of your life are going to be, of your life are going to be incredible. Congratulations on being accepted into Bishop Eustis. Not many kids can say they were offered a free ride to other schools and accepted the one that cost the most money. <laughs> You are your mother's daughter. <laughs> there is no doubt you will continue to accomplish great things. Marco, we're also proud of what you have done also. You seem to accomplish everything so effortlessly. You are always at the top of your class in school and at the same on the football and lacrosse field. Your work, work ethic when it comes to sports is second to none. I know mommy isn't happy that we have a catch every single night in the house for hours and is always yelling that we're going to break something. So far we haven't. <laughs> We've been keeping our fingers crossed. Keep working hard and you will be rewarded. We love both of you so much and will always be in your corner. Marissa, first, thank you for editing, editing this speech. <laughs> thank you for being my, for, by my side throughout this incredible journey. You have always kept me grounded. You know what to say and how to say it. I'm not sure if I like the chore list every day. I think I have to get a job. You're an incredible mother and keep our family intact. We would be lost without you. I wanted to say sorry for all the sleepless nights that I didn't call her to let you know I was safe. I know it wasn't easy. I also appreciate you for putting up with all my crazy craziness. Thank you and I love you. Some of our traditions here at Gloucester County Police Department, someone who's retired, is to make some presentations to them. The first one uh, is Detective Sergeant Stracolini's retired police ID. I offer him that. We also have his uh, ceremonial police ID along with his retired police sergeant badge. I present these proudly to you. And also, uh, we have a tradition. I know Mario has a bunch of these, and I know how proud he is to have it. But we have a lapel pin, Gloucester Township Police, and we make sure we present this to everyone that's retired. And we encourage them to wear this with pride, knowing that he's always part of the Gloucester Township Police family uh, whenever we have any, any event or any time he's out in a law enforcement uh, arena. So I want to present that to him. And last but not least, Deputy Chief Minazi, if you'll help me present your retirement plaque. As you can see, Sarge. 
We have a wonderful plaque here of all the badges that were worn by Sergeant Stracolini, some of the pins of the units that he's involved in, some of the uh, challenge coins, uh, his commendation ribbons from his uniform, and his name tag straight off his uniform. So congratulations. We include the DEA, Gloucester Township Police, and his special police uh, bad patch up there. So congratulations. Thanks. I get some pictures. Township Police Department, both past and present. God bless and stay safe. Bravo 155 Radio. Bravo 155. Off duty. Thank you. Thank you for your time. 